Today I want to try out an app that I found uh, actually while I was making another video. Uh, it's called First Hand, which at the time I didn't actually know about. Um, I did already jump into it. I tried to make this video uh, earlier. Jumped in, I wanted it to be, you know, the first time looking at it and recording at the same time. And after, I don't know how long, maybe 45 minutes, I would say, I realized that just like in previous attempts with other videos, the record button right there stopped working. So, unfortunately, uh, when I looked, that, that video was corrupted, unusable. So I'm starting again from scratch. But I've already played it, uh, not all of it, but a good chunk of it. So it will save some time. There was a lot of confusion because the directions aren't really clear. Um, it is a hand tracking app. So no controllers. Um, so I'm, I've decided to completely start without controllers. Now I can never get the left button to work. Yeah, I can never get that to work, but this one I can get to work. There we go. As you can see. Now, there it is, first hands. Playing them out with, with space. Yes, I got that. Uh, high contrast between hands and background. I'm hoping that, you know, that I have that going for me. So let's try that. Okay. So this is where we started. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. The first, I would say 20 minutes was me just fumbling around trying to figure out what to do here. Um, so the first thing you have to do is, uh, here we go. Again, no controllers, just hands. Now you grab this. I don't know why I'm gripping so tight. <laughs> um, and then you hit that button and something's gonna come out through that window. Go. So we got a delivery. Okay. This is not perfectly in sync with my hands. If I move pretty quickly, it, it, it there's a lag. So there's that. Um, yeah, there's a big lag. In fact, you can't tell because you can't see my real hands. But yeah. Um, so a lot of things you're gonna to have to push a little further than you would normally do. Um, like, this is okay, but when I start to pull, there's a lag. So my hand is a few inches in front of where this is, and then it catches up. So it feels almost like a rubber band effect, actually. And there's a, a delay when you open and close as well. All right. But other than that, um, once you kind of get used to it and you get the feel of it, it actually is pretty, uh, pretty fun. So grab, pull. See, I'm not, I'm not holding it anymore. My hand is nowhere near it. See where my hand kind of jumped to? That's where it was this whole time. Wait, do I have to pump this thing? I did not realize that. Okay. So push in the coat. Come on. No. See, it's not tracking the hand right. Let me, could be that I'm, I, I'm not, I don't have enough light in here. Oh, this is frustrating. Yeah, it is not following my hand perfectly. See how my finger is curling? It shouldn't be. Okay, there we go. Now again, it could just be that the area that I'm in um, doesn't have enough light. Okay, so I've already done this. Um, it took me forever to figure this out. Um, unfortunately, you'll, you won't see that because the video was corrupted. 
Otherwise, I would have no problem showing you that, as embarrassing as it was. All right, so we, we're basically building a glove with like a 3D printer. And we're building it, you know, in pieces. So let's start with this part. You can pick your colors, white, red, and black, it seems. So I'm going to go with, I think I did uh, red last time. So I want to do it again because it looked pretty nice. So there's your first component, and then you pick it up with your hands, and then you put it in place. All right. Come on. So I'm actually doing this in a different room, because when I first did it, it was in a small space, but has a lot of light. This room is larger, but I'm guessing the light isn't as bright. Okay, let's do... Let's do black for those. There we go. Now, where's the other part? I want to do red for that. I don't understand why it's... Why, why, what? Oh, that's right. So you can pick it up. And you can move it around. And I, I, I figured out this, uh, you know, much late, much later into the recording. But I'm guessing this is kind of like uh, copying the the whole Iron Man thing, when Tony Stark is, you know, doing this three-dimensional uh, interactive virtual thing. But you know, in, in in the real world. So let's make that. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it red. Eh, whatever, it's fine. I guess I'll make the top part red. Okay. Now, again, in order for me to actually interact, I have to push past. So my hand is actually behind this screen just to get it to, to interact. Which, again, I think it's just my, the fact that I have, uh, that maybe the light isn't, isn't so, no, not that color, isn't so bright in here. Because it was working much better uh, in the other room. Okay, let's do, let's do orange. Nope. Oh no, wait. I didn't notice that last time. So you break them and then you can put them, what, in there? That's cool. In fact, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it actually just said that the space might be too dark. Hmm. Oh, it actually goes to its own spot. That's neat. But I want orange. Yeah. We'll make do. Um, I actually do have one of those uh, infrared little lights that go on on the headset, but I just didn't put them. I didn't plug it in. Okay, come on. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. There we go. It's supposed to do that. So now I have Iron Man hands, essentially. Hi. So I can. I can grab things dude shush yes relax so rude okay so you can't feel anything because obviously it's your hand so there's nothing to interact with um, but it does actually feel kind of satisfying to do that yeah. so can I pick it up regular no that's the only weird thing, so there we go. Okay. <sighs> what? <sighs> Where are you going? 
So now we're going to play a game. There's a scoreboard up there. And so if I do this, I really have Iron Man. This is like a blatant ripoff of Iron Man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just shot his, uh, his, his little target. I mean, he's going to shoot at me, but I have a shield. So then again, I can shoot his target and then create a shield. So that's the game. I gotta hit his target and then dodge, not dodge, block his shots. And it's, it's actually pretty satisfying, I will say. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, recharge. Ooh, he got me. He got a couple of hits off me. So there is a big delay, unfortunately, between getting this to... Oh, you cheater! He's hiding behind the hammock. Alright. It's a cool mechanic, though. I'll say that much. Oh, okay. I guess it's over. Now... I realize now that I know what I'm doing, this is a lot shorter. I'm telling you, it took me forever to figure all this out. I was grabbing things and, and putting them on the table, trying to figure out what I had to do with them, trying to figure out what I had to do with him or it. I was grabbing every single thing I could find. I thought this had to go in here. It was, it was embarrassing. I saw the motorcycle helmet and of course I wanted that. I couldn't get it. Can't throw things very well though. It's the only issue. Come on. Yeah. I saw that little one-wheeled motorcycle thing over there and I thought, oh, okay, maybe I have to do stuff to complete it. Same with the telescope. Apparently, none of that. And if, you know, unless there is and I just didn't, you know, it's something I had to unlock. But once I activate this, it's going to teleport me somewhere. And um, that's when the real stuff actually begins. This is a lot longer than I thought it was uh, going to be. Now, I think I'm going to stop the video once I get through here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to grab you. Oh, no. I think I... No, no, no. Yeah, go away. Okay. I guess if I wanted to play again, I could do that. Um, once I teleport in there, I'm gonna stop the video and then see how long it, it's been. Depending on how much time has passed, uh, I'll either just end the video and that'll be it, or I'll proceed and we'll we'll see a little bit more but this is just scratching the surface really this is just a this is in fact just a tutorial and the next part is still a tutorial because I don't think this is a real game but it, it, it does start to feel like one so let's touch that and now get teleported if I remember correctly what do I have to do oh okay so now I have to touch this I, I did. There we go. So there's the portal. And now we're here. Hi. And he scared the crap out of me because I had turned around and then he did that. And then I turned back and he was there. Um, unfortunately, again, you won't be able to see that. What do you want me to do? Oh, okay. So... All that stuff that I had from the previous part, teleport, the, not the teleport, the, uh, the gravity hands, I guess you would call them, all that's gone. Now, when I push that button, it's going to give me the ability to teleport, as well as to do snap turn with my hands, which I'm not going to use that much because all I have to do is turn around, uh, you know, because I can. 
I'm assuming that's more for if you're in a stationary position, you can't really move around. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Uh, don't want the video to be too long. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want me to continue this, because there's a lot more, there's a whole game in here and then those, it looks like there's more chapters. Uh, but if you want to see more of this, leave a comment, let me know. And uh, depending on what you guys want, uh, I might come back in here and finish this off. So uh, hopefully I'll see you again in the next one. And until then, take care.